Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again back in Forza Horizon 5 with the Cheap Car Challenge. Last time out, the Chevy K10 barely missed out on grabbing top spot on the leaderboard from the Oldsmobile. This time around, the Mercury Cyclone will bring a return to the cars in quite a weird way. This is a car that's really wonky because uh, it can get so much horsepower in D-Class because, uh, you know, it's just so heavy. And the stock tires are so bad that as soon as we get above 4,000 pounds, the game's like, STOP! So yeah. We could just do this all day long. Have a max power engine. And then pretend we know what we're doing. For this amount of money. In D-Class, yep. But no. We will go for a tire upgrade on this car because these stock tires are so bad. Look how bad the stock tires are. Like, we go from D-Class to B-Class with one hit. So we could do this. Or we could do this. We're going to go for that because that's the only option we got. And then that because we, that's the only option we got there. Gearbox, not just four speed from standard. And that's just a waste of credits there, so we will leave it stock gearbox. Put in a sport diff for now. A rally suspension. Race front anti roll bars at least. Eh, put in sport or anti roll bars for now. Yeah, we're going to have to do this car like that. Could reduce some points there, but then have no budget for literally anything else. So no rear wing. Oh, that's a shame this that race exhaust sounds pretty cool. Could do this to get uh, up 40 pounds for 11 horsepower. I guess that's only awful. Yeah, this is also a weird car where uh, the rear tire spacers add uh, some PI. I guess they do in every car, but on this car they're more noticeable. Because they do something. So yeah, the Mercury Cyclone. It's a weird car to build to because it just... The stock tires are legitimately that bad. You cannot use them. Like, 7776 seven, for the G's. Like, that's unusable. We can't even do a 1G turn. So yeah, we are well within budget. Uh, so much so that I'm going to do that. Just because we can. I don't think I'll even need to adjust the gear ratios. Oh yeah, I will. Never mind. Okay, so that's a good call. Alright, well. For better or for worse, the Cyclone's ready to go. You'd think for being in D-Class we have a lot of points to play with, but not really. So it's a 4-speed, so it should have tall gears, you would think. To help us out there. And it's a heavy carb, 
but uh, not in chain. So I am going to go for uh, this setting that we've been using for a while, actually. I do like it. Front rebound is good. Up the rear a bit. And there we go. The Mercury is ready to go. Now, I do have experience driving this car in low classes, which is why uh, I've determined to put on any tire upgrade other than stock. Because it is just that bad, trust me. Another naturally aspirated car. Uh, what was the other car we had that was naturally aspirated? Now I forget. Oh well. The point is, I don't think I won. Yeah, this is another car that just kind of eats its PI for no reason. Yeah. Assuming you put on any tire other than stock. If you leave stock tires on, nothing does anything. Uh, in fact, adding power reduces PI, so you know. It's really odd, because the stock tires are legitimately that bad. They're the worst in the game. All right, so 380 horsepower, 400 something torque, 4,000 pounds, but we do have a tire compound upgrade. Now the Oldsmobile had uh, 660 foot pounds and it weighed a lot more, but it had better tires. I don't know. If this car handle is decent, we have a chance. First gear up to 60, even with a tighter gearbox. What? Slightly concerning. Look how high is first gear going normal? Like in, that, in real life. The 70? <laughs> That'll be the way to waste gas of all time. Seven thousand RPM is pretty good. I can kind of treat this car like a five speed when I leave it just hanging up in the revs for so long. How is the speed going to be across the line? A little bit slower than the olds. I can go up the hill pretty fast. I'm losing ground to the olds up the hill though. I need to make up for it someplace else. There's a lucky hit on the wall there. I thought I was going to be yellow flagged. I do know that tight line now, so that's good to go for to gain up some time. We almost got the olds just by driving good with the K10 last episode. Yeah, the cyclone's always been like this. It gains PI too quickly. Because, like, you know, it's got much less horsepower than 
the old and it's not that much lighter than it, yet it still gets eaten. And that was a less than ideal line there, I will be honest. I was focused on just staying in on it. Didn't realize I had to steer as well. That's somewhat important. Better line there for sure. I can make up ground through here. That's not the issue. The issue is the last straight where the olds is just fast. Try not to hit those poles. All right. Oh, it's close. Not close enough, though. That was close enough, though. What the heck? We beat it by the world's smallest margin I've ever seen. 0 0.007. What the heck? And that was with me going on an adventure after turn one. What the heck? I guess I just found the right line. Okay. Do I want a trail? I hit A instead of continue. I guess that's the right thing to do. I was going to see if I could fix up that first corner and make it a uh, less sus uh, time I'm going to have to go up against from now on, but oh well. The Mercury, with enough of a push lap, has proven that we can beat the olds, but that's only because we learned a track that has nothing to do with the car. So, uh, oh well. Let's see what we get in the wheel spin and be disappointed. God dang it. Oh well. I'll see you all in the future.